Hello, I'm going to talk about uh, hearing loss, earplugs, uh, ways to protect your ear, uh, especially if you're a musician or uh, maybe you work in a place that's really loud. Um, I'm 42 years old now. I uh, have loved music uh, since my teenage years, of course. Or, and uh, as, uh, as I got older, I started noticing uh, you know, problems with my left ear. Um, I don't know if it was from driving with my car window open or you know, preferring a telephone on this side. Um, but as I got older, it, it got worse. Um, when I was uh, 33, I uh, decided to start playing bass guitar for my church and with friends. And uh, you know, being a guy, I, I had to have the, the best and you know, the loudest and, well, not the loudest, but loud. And uh, so I started having problems again and I decided to look into uh, earplugs. Um, one of the symptoms I had, uh, just besides you know, having trouble or noticing that there's an imbalance left to right, um, was uh, when I started playing music loud, I'd be laying in bed and it's quiet and I'll hear thumpity thump thump thump, thumpity thump thump, you know, it was like a muscle spasm or something. And uh, I decided, well, I have to do something about this. So um, one of the typical things is, uh, you know, you might try uh, foam earplugs. Um, you know, you, you roll them, you roll them up, and then they expand. You know, stick them in your ear. And uh, a lot of musicians don't like this because these are not the best for uh, enjoying music. Um, I moved on to, uh, and I mean, these are cheap. You can get them for probably 50 cents at a music store or maybe a hardware store or something um, where you buy a big box. <clears throat> you could use them a couple times. Um, I, I'd recommend maybe only five times because then they, they stay squished and they don't seal up very well. Um, the next one is uh, these. I, uh, some people call them hi-fi earplugs. Um, I'm going to have a link to a company that I I like to buy these from, um, but Heroes I think has a uh, a brand or a, a model similar to this. You look for the the triple rubber uh, arrow shape at the front, and then the hard plastic uh, handle on the back. That helps get the higher frequencies into your ear through the through the little hole in the front of the uh, earplug. But uh, you can get these for about ten or fifteen bucks at a music store. Um, that's a very Reusable and very uh, an improvement over the over the foam earplugs. You'll you'll get more high frequencies out of these. Um, eventually, I got tired of using these because the rubber is a little irritating, um, a little itchy, and um, I went to an audiologist or audiologist, and for $150, they will take they'll check your hearing. They'll take a mold of your ear inside, and They'll come up with a, uh, a mold, and on the, in the front here you can see a little uh, circle. It's a little removable diaphragm that uh, changes the, how much noise comes through the earplug. And then you just stick them in, and they're not quite as uh, goofy looking, I think, as you know having this sticking out of your ear. That's why I got the clear plastic ones. You can get colored ones and stuff. It's kind of annoying. And then, of course, this is <laughs> obvious. But anyway, I mean, your hearing is very important. Um, you know, uh, there's there's other diseases or ailments that come from too much noise. There's one called tinnitus. Um, it's a similar to uh, what you experience after a concert without earplugs. You know, it's the, it's the ringing when there's no noise. You know. That's your that's your inner ear going ah you know actually it's the it's the nerves they're trembling from pain of of too much noise. Um, also, when you when you buy the hi-fi plugs, you get a, you can get a little carrying case usually um, with the professional ear plugs. You get these or something fancy. Um, what else we got here? Um, what is loud? Um, 
in my estimation, I'm a, I'm a geek, and uh, in my estimation, <laughs> but I like um, analyzing things. I like uh, knowing what I'm up against. Um, if you go to Radio Shack, um, you can buy a, uh, uh, they call it a noise meter, and I, I got a fancy one. I used to have a Radio Shack. Um, this one's uh, a couple hundred dollars, but uh, and it gives you the full frequency, so you can kind of tell what what your uh, what levels of noise are affecting you. Um, but um, Radio Shack, they have one for probably about thirty bucks, and it noise is measured in two different uh, types, A and C weighted uh, measuring. And uh, I'd recommend personally that if you're in a situation over 90 decibels, C weighting, slow, um, that you should consider wearing earplugs, especially for an extended period of time. Um, if you don't want to buy a meter, I'd suggest, uh, okay, let's say you're practicing with your friends and, uh, and you're going, uh, you know, what are you playing? And they're like, huh? What are you, you know, you're yelling back and forth. That's too loud. Um, in general for your ears. Um, so you should consider earplugs and even though you might think an earplug is going to uh, uh, decrease your ability to hear, it's actually kind of uh, not true. Um, if you decide to listen, um, you know, you can wear earplugs like this even and the guy that's shouting, what did you say? You heard him even though you had the earplugs in, because your ears are not traumatized when they're protected. So, um, what else? Singers. Um, if you're a singer, that's a, that's a, that's a troubling <laughs> situation to be in. Um, uh, you might consider in-ear monitors, which are like, uh, you can get them that look kind of like this, but they have a speaker in them, like a headphone, and it'll protect your ear, but you also have to be careful on the how much volume you give yourself. You know, don't overdo it um, if, you, if you want your ears to last. <laughs> if you're a drummer, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely uh, wear some earplugs or an in-ear monitor. Um, I don't think there's any good reason why a drummer should not wear earplugs, period. Um, so I guess that's about it. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to put some links on the side and, uh, you know, help you understand noise levels, uh, place kinds of earplugs to get, and uh, diseases or problems you can have. Even as a younger person, um, it may not hurt, you know, when you're doing 120 decibels, which is way too loud. Um, I usually play about 100 decibels in some of the bands I've played with, but that's still pretty loud. And... Uh, Hope that helped. Have a good day.